Ashita, even uh, if you and I recall uh, uh, that uh, interaction that had happened between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Shubhanshu Shukla while he was in space, and of course, uh, he wished him all the very best. He shared a few tips, but also those lighter moments of when he mentioned that uh, Shubhanshu Shukla had taken Gajar ka halwa uh, to the ISS and uh, the big party also that they had those pictures that we'd put out. So, uh, like I said, uh, Akshita, this is a big moment. We are all witnessing it and uh, so much more that uh, we are waiting to observe to what is going to happen when it comes to India's big leap in science and space. That's true. I remember one of the That's viral right. images is what you're talking about, Swesha, uh, uh, when Gajar Halwa was actually served to all of the astronauts on board. So I can't wait to hear whether they loved it as much as Group Captain Shukla does because his family told us it's one of his favorite dishes. So rather fitting that he took that essentially to represent what Indian food and Indian cuisine is all about. But just to focus again on the images that we're getting right now, part of the recovery fleet, this is the main SpaceX recovery ship that's usually used in these kind of missions. Uh, the crew that you see on board, They've got uh, a whole lot of experience in doing exactly this, in recovering these capsules. You can see one of the personnel on board the capsule also to ensure that nothing goes wrong, to ensure that the harness stays on, even as the capsule is getting closer and closer to the recovery uh, ship right now. It will be placed right in that circular area that you see. So, you know, you get a sense also of the size of the capsule. I remember when I was in Florida, uh, this launch was happening from Launchpad 39A, uh, obviously at the Kennedy. Space Center. There are multiple such launch pads. I wasn't allowed anywhere close to this launch pad. That's protocol, so we weren't allowed close by. But you just see the sheer size of the rocket because when you go into the Kennedy Space Center, they actually let you visit other launch pads. Uh, so it gives you a sense of the sheer scale of the kind of mission, the equipment that we're talking about. But you look at the capsule itself. When you see the massive rocket standing up, you look like it looks like a massive mammoth piece of equipment. But the capsule itself, in which the astronauts are, it's tiny. It's cramped. There's no place at all for four astronauts to move. There are seats placed. They're strapped in. They can just about, you know, unstrap themselves, move around a little, float around, if you will, because, you know, they're not going to be walking around in there, and then strap themselves back in. So uh, you can see right now, they'll be strapped in, by the way, even through this process because the capsule is floating because of the built-in buoyancy. SpaceX usually ensures that most of their launches, it's a splashdown that occurs. So because of that, their capsules usually are built to float in water, completely waterproof also. So it's being dragged in right now. The astronauts at this point will just be seated, waiting for the go-ahead, waiting for that latch to open. They have uh, nothing essentially to do at this point. They're strapped in completely. But if you look at the whole process, actually it's largely automated. Even at that moment of a comms blackout, which you'd think would create a whole lot of panic inside the capsule, not really, because not just is there a clear protocol established, but also secondly, they just have to sit back strapped in. There isn't much for them to do. Everything's controlled from base, from Houston. Now, your recovery is on. You can see that the ropes that the personnel were on board tying, latching onto the uh, capsule, that's being used to kind of drag them back in. Using, of course, a pulley, they're being dragged back in. And then the capsule, extremely heavy, so there's no question of any of those people being able to lift it. It'll directly be automatically pushed onto the platform. And then the personnel who are standing there will start those last checks. All right, this is why I said that the personnel who are on board the capsule are divers. Because when they get close, they just jump off into the ocean and get back into those rescue boats. Uh, amazing to see, really, the kind of training that these personnel go uh, through and what it takes for ensuring that this kind of a mission is successful. So many bits and pieces uh, that bring it together and ensure a successful mission, uh, Suesha. But I think we're just inches, we're just inches away from the capsule now, making it onto the recovery ship. Oh yes, absolutely, Akshita. And uh, uh, while the weather has been conducive, but uh, one can only imagine uh, the very many challenges on the ground as uh, they recover that capsule and uh, continue to pull it towards themselves because, uh, you know, as lit as it is, but uh, the fact in, is that it is dark, it is 2.30 uh, in the morning that the uh, they are uh, performing this uh, entire recovery. And uh, it, of course, has its own share of challenges. Uh, we, we saw one of them, yes, a diver who just jumped into the water and uh, in the middle of Pacific Ocean where uh, the capsule is now being pulled. 
Dragon and uh, it is being taken in. Okay, so what happens seeing, next? You're seeing the capsule, capsule being lifted break. off the water onto the recovery ship. A few more checks there. and then the, the a latch will be open. But the breaking news uh, that we can confirm for you, and I know yeah, you've all been wondering when Group Captain Shukla will be back in nice. India. The confirmation that's coming in right now is that he'll be back in Delhi on August 17th. Contrary to what sources told us earlier, which was that it could be as early as July 25th, but now we're hearing that August 17th is the day that Group Captain Shukla will be back in Delhi. He's going to be meeting with ISRO officials. That crucial debriefing perhaps will be happening then, Suesha. Oh yes, absolutely. Shubhanshu Shukla and in this big mission that uh, happens to be, be, a, be a big boost for India's Gagan Yan and 17th August is when he will be in Delhi. That's right. So once he comes down to Delhi, you're going to be seeing Group Captain Shukla uh, meeting with ISRO officials, get going on mission Gagan Yan. Let's focus on those images once again. That's coming in right now. That Okay, let's cut across to Union Minister Jitendra Singh. Sitting to aayi gaya tha Chandrayaan ke baad, lekin aaj ham us sthiti mein hain ki ham wo bhi chunauti swikar karne ki sthiti mein hain. Aise priyog karne jo aaj tak na hue aur ye yaad rahe ki jo priyog Subhashu ke dwara kiye gaye hain, wo manav jivan ke saath bada nazdi ka sambandh rakhte hain aur unse jo parinam niklenge, wo na keval Bharat vasiyon ke liye balki samast विश्व के लिए उपयोग में लाए जाएंगे जैसे प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी कहते हैं कि भारत को अब विश्व बंधु की भूमिका के लिए अपने आप को तैयार करना होगा सही माने में विश्व बंधु के किरदार में ये प्रयोग किए गए गगनयान के लिए कितना उपयोगी होगा सर गगनयान मिशन के लिए कितना टेक्निकली जो डॉकिंग एंड डॉकिंग और दूसरे प्रयोग हुए वो गगनयान में भी काम आएंगे चंद्रयान फोर में भी आएंगे और फिर जब हमारा भारतीय अंतरिक्ष स्टेशन बनेगा लगभग दो में तो मुझे लगता है कि ये जो आज प्रक्रिया हुई है ये इससे उम्दा ढंग से हम करने में शुभांशु भारत आ सकते लगभग सत्रह अगस्त के लगभग उनका दिल्ली पहुंचने की उम्मीद की जा सकती है डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह जिन्होंने बताया कि किस तरह की प्रक्रिया जो है वो अब फॉलो की जाएगी all right, so Union Minister J.P. Singh confirming that uh, Shubhanshu Shukla will be in Delhi on the 17th of August and of course a big ceremony I'm sure will be planned around it but most importantly he will also meet with ISRO officials so all of that is to happen in Delhi on the 17th the 17th of August Akshita like we understand and again we've cut across to those pictures uh, what happens they next they are de-rigging the spacecraft but they're also so doing some final what's happening right uh, now is so all the harnesses are being removed simultaneously by all of the personnel uh, there uh, the dragon capsule is at the location that it's meant to be. Sure you see that particular area there right in front of the personnel. That is the latch. So that will be opened once the go-ahead is given. A few more moments before we actually see that moment. The other aspect of it is that you will see a whole lot of uh, crew members on standby. So even once the latch is opened, they're not immediately going to come out. It will take a few more moments for them actually to be brought out one after another. Four of them Inside, we're talking about Group Captain Shukla, who's of course the pilot, Mission Commander Peggy Whitson, who is uh, from America, Wisnowski from Poland, and Tibor Kapu from Hungary. They'll all be pulled out one after another. But like I said, uh, even in this case, the astronauts know that they're not allowed to remove uh, the, the seat belts that they have on. Uh, they're strapped on completely to their seats, uh, and they're not allowed to remove that even after the door is open. Only when they're given the go-ahead can they actually remove those straps and then immediately personnel go into that capsule you will see essentially trained personnel inside uh, taking them out one after another so